I'm Dr Beth Colby, psychiatrist from Talk Mental Health. In the Sunday Times on March the 8th, in the letters to the editor section, it says that the Tavistock Clinic must come clean. The Tav Tavistock Clinic is a mental health clinic that um, specialises in talking therapies for adults and children and families. Professor Michael Biggs of Oxford University states as follows. Salute Kirabel's courage in leading the legal challenge against the Tavistock and Portman NHS Foundation Trust, the UK's only centre for treating children suffering from gender dysphoria. The Tavistock's Gender Identity Clinic uses the drug triptorolin to stop puberty in children as young as 11. Triptorolin is not licensed for treatment of this condition. My research has uncovered disturbing data from the Tavistock's 2011 experiment with this drug. After one year, children who had the treatment had more thoughts of self-harm and the girls experienced worse dysphoria. I hope the coming judicial review will force the Tavistock's Gender Identity Clinic to release comprehensive data on the well-being of all the children, now numbering nearly 300 subjected to this drug regime. Toby Young, the General Secretary of the Free Speech Union, said this. The High Court's decision to permit this case to go ahead is welcome. Allowing children to make life-changing decisions and undergo irreversible medical treatment, such as that undertaken by Kira Bell at the age of 16, has happened without proper debate or public scrutiny. I hope this issue can now be discussed in the open and that we will hear from medical experts on all sides including those who, in the past, have been afraid to say what they really think. One of the reasons protecting free speech is so important is that properly informed public debate can take place about vital issues such as this. Thank you for listening. I hope this has been informative.